the world health organization has already failed us in containing the covid-19 spread across the world but now in case of monkeypox who is really pretty determined to contain the spread of the virus that is why who declared monkeypox as a global emergency monkeypox still not really on the category of pandemic but it has been declared as public health emergency of international concern which is one step below that of pandemic WHO is making every step cautiously because they already made a mistake in case of COVID-19. In case of COVID, they categorized COVID as public health emergency on January 30, 2020, but COVID cases were already stood at 7,500 during that time. They should have declared COVID as pandemic. Anyway, those days are gone. Now we need to concentrate on monkeypox. WHO came to that decision on monkeypox after seven hour meeting on July 21 meeting of the International Health Regulation Emergency Committee to discuss the monkeypox outbreak in several countries because monkeypox virus is spreading rapidly first is affected developed nations like US Canada and the European countries but it is now affecting all including India India has already reported 3 to 4 monkeypox virus cases in recent days UK US Spain Portugal and Canada has already reported more than 200 cases that is why i am making this topic to spread awareness among us and about this topic about this virus we will going to discuss all of the things this topic will going to include some question the questions like what is monkeypox what are the symptoms of the disease how to prevent yourself not to be affected by the disease if you will going to contract it because of the disease how to prevent where to go and some of the other important facts So let's start with the question. The question is what is monkeypox? Because we need to know about the disease, about the virus first because when we will be able to identify the disease and the virus, then we will be able to find the cure first. Monkeypox is basically an viral zoonosis. The zoonosis means a virus transmitted to humans from animals. The monkeypox symptoms similar to those seen in the past in the smallpox patients, although it is clinically less severe. Clinically less severe comparison to the smallpox with the eradication of smallpox in 1980 and the subsequent cessation of smallpox vaccination the monkeypox has emerged as the most important orthopox virus for public health the monkeypox virus is an enveloped double stranded dna virus that belongs to the orthopox genus the orthopox genus of prox viridae family there are two distinct genetic clades of monkeypox virus one is central african clade which came from congo basin and the second one is west african clade the congo basin clade has historically caused more severe diseases and was thought to be more transmissible the geographical division between these two clades has found so far in cameroon the only country where both virus clades have been found now we need to talk about the natural host of monkeypox virus because we are seeing the humans are not natural host the animals are the natural host of this virus the animal species those have been identified as the natural host are the rope squirrels the tree squirrels the gambian pouch rats dormice non human primates and the other species the further studies are needed on the monkeypox to identify the exact reservoirs and how virus circulation is maintained in nature the human monkeypox was first identified in humans in 1970 in the dominican republic of congo it was a 9 month old baby who was first affected due to this virus The baby was actually from the region where the smallpox had been eliminated in 1968. Since then most cases have been reported from rural and the rainforest regions of the Congo basin, particularly from Dominican Republic of Congo and the human cases have increasingly been reported from West and Central Africa. At the very moment the most important question is how monkeypox has been transmitted from animals to humans. As monkeypox is a zootonic virus, that's why transmission can be occurred from direct contact with blood, bodily fluid, or cutaneous or mucosal lesions of infected animals. In Africa, the evidence of monkeypox virus infection has been found in many animals. I have already mentioned the animal's name. Anyway, the natural reservoir of monkeypox has not yet been identified. The rodents are the most likely carrier of this virus. The natural reservoir means. the animals on which the virus is most commonly found in case of covid-19 the bats are the natural reservoir of the virus let's get back to the point and the point is how it has happened how it has spread it spread because of the eating inadequately cooked meat and the other animals product of the infected animals this is the most likely possible risk factor 
Another reason is the people living near the forested areas may have direct or the low level exposure to the infected animals. From our today's point of view, now the question is how it is transmitting from human to human. Basically, human to human transmission can result from close contact with respiratory secretion, skin lesions of an infected person, or recently contaminated objects. The transmission via droplet respiratory particle usually requires prolonged face to face contact, which puts health workers, household members, and the others at the greater risk. However, the longest documented chain of transmission has risen in the recent years from 6 to 9 person to person infections. This may reflect declining immunity in all communities due to the cessation of smallpox vaccination. The transmission can also occur via placenta from mother to fetus or during close contact during or after the birth. Right now it is very much unclear at this very time that whether monkeypox can be transmitted specifically through sexual transmission or not. To come to the specific conclusion, further studies are really required. I have already discussed about monkeypox elaborately. Now let's talk about signs, symptoms, diagnosis or prevention. Sign of monkeypox is pretty similar to smallpox or measles. The incubation period of monkeypox is usually from 6 to 13 days, but can range from 5 to 21 days. The infection can be divided into two periods. The first period is called invasion period, which lasts between 0 to 5 days. The period can be characterized by fever, intense headache, swelling of lymph nodes, muscle atches, and the intense asthenia. The asthenia means lack of energy. Now second period, which usually begins with 1 to 3 days of appearance of fever. The rash tends to be more concentrated on the face and extremized rather than on the trunk. It affects face mostly in 95% of cases and palm of hand and soles of feet in 75% of cases. It also affects the oral mucous membrane in 75% of cases, genitalia in 30% cases, conjunctive in 20% cases, as well as the cornea. In case of pox, any kinds of pox, the lymph nodes are first filled with fluid, then it will dry and fall off eventually. But in severe cases, the monkeypox would leave severe marks all over the body. The monkeypox is usually self-limited disease with the symptoms lasting for 2 to 4 days. The severe cases usually occur more commonly among children. We all know every disease has their own diagnosis. But in case of monkeypox, it is quite similar to the other illnesses, other rash illnesses, such as chickenpox, measles, bacteria skin infections, crabbies, syphilis, and the medication associated with allergies, different kinds of allergies. It should be kept in mind that if pox is being detected, then he or she should approach a doctor and check it through to determine whether the pox is monkeypox or not. Because it is important to know whether you have or somebody else have the monkeypox or not. If it is monkeypox, then he or she should follow the doctor's advice profusely. Now the treatments, the treatments are very much required to be cured. To prevent the spread of monkeypox, the US Center for Disease Control and the Prevention recommends that the person investigating monkeypox outbreak should receive a smallpox vaccination. In the European Union and the United States, the Tarkoviramat is approached for the treatment of several pox viruses. Now it is being approached by the US CDC to treat the monkeypox patients. The monkeypox is not a new name or a new disease to the world. The outbreak of monkeypox has already happened in the United States in 2003, then in Nigeria in 2017-19, then in 2018 some cases were registered in the United Kingdom. And this time also the outbreak's epicenter has become the United Kingdom again. This time the case was traced to an individual with the travel links to the Nigeria and was detected on 6th May 2022. According to the World Health Organization, 14,533 probable and the laboratory confirmed cases have been registered from 72 countries. This is an exponential rise from May 2022 data. On May 2022, the cases were only 3,040. So these cases needed to be contained sharply because after COVID-19, this world cannot afford another pandemic. The world is already facing food crisis, supply chain crisis, wear and the different other difficulties. The COVID-19 pandemic is still not over yet. The whole world has not yet been vaccinated fully. Therefore, to avoid any kind of crisis, who held their second meeting? Who is taking every step calculatively for their COVID-19 mistake? They have already failed this world once. This time they cannot or should not be failed. Otherwise, this world will turn into chaos or turn into a rubble for the various reasons which I have been discussing throughout my topics since the COVID-19 breakout. Now the questions. 
द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सुराराज पोत्रू विच वॉज डिक्लेयर द बेस्ट फीचर फिल्म इन सिक्सटी एथ नैशनल फिल्म एवर्ड इज फ्रॉम विच लैंग्वेज द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज मलयालम द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज तेलुगू थर्ड इज तमिल द फोर्थ वन इज कैनडा द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज इंडिया साइन डे एम यू विथ हुईच कंट्री फॉर री इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ चीता एंड द वाइल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑस्ट्रेलिया द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज नामेबिया थर्ड ऑप्शन इज किनिया फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज घना सो आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू सम हिंट हाउ टू गेट एन एंसर टू गेट एन एंसर यू हैव टू ऑप्ट आउट द ऑप्शन द ऑड ऑप्शन देन यू विल गोइंग टू फाइंड द राइट एंसर एनी वे दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द टॉपिक I think you will going to enjoy this topic because you will going to find this topic informative and useful. So thank you very much. Thank you for your support. If you have any kind of questions or any kind of inquiry, then please email me to my email address, which is tuhin dot power dot academy at the rate gmail dot com. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention.